Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Oculus Quest 2 and how my first 24 hours of game time went from all the great moments and great things about the headset to its downfalls. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get started. So about two weeks ago, I found myself scrolling across Facebook Marketplace, and whether you're a fan or not a fan of Facebook, you have to admit you can get some pretty good deals on their Marketplace feature. Well, during my daily scroll of Marketplace, I came across the Oculus Quest 2, and many of them. Now, I don't know what you're thinking, right? Why would I buy something that sat on a, another random person's head, right? Well, I didn't. I looked around until I came across one that was still in its box, and you would be surprised at how many people buy something and never use it. So when I had finally found the perfect buy, I jumped on it. The Quest 2 was still in its original packaging, unused, and it was only $200 to top it all off. I then sent a message on Discord to my good old buddy old pal, David, asking him what VR headset he used, and sure enough, he replied telling me he uses the Quest 2. I was still on edge about spending $200, okay? Especially on something that I didn't think I would use that much, and that's partly because last year, I had uh, picked up a PlayStation VR headset, and to say the least, in my opinion, it was fucking terrible. There was a lack of decent games to play with the PSVR, and the image quality in the headset wasn't good neither, so after my first VR experience, I had kind of written the industry off as a joke. Well, after all the back and forth, I went ahead and gave the Quest 2 a shot and bought it. The first day of having the Quest, me and David booted into your normal non-PC VR game, starting with uh, VR Chat. VR Chat definitely wasn't enough to convince myself of the $200 I just spent, and I'll leave that there. <coughs> Furries. But anyway, David recommended me of another free VR title called Rec Room, and this is where I started to enjoy the headset. We played various modes from basketball to an entire battle royale, and I was honestly impressed at how much fun I was having, and how much better the Quest looked compared to the PSVR. After the Rec Room experience, I was able to justify actually buying a VR game, so David went and got a Vive Port Infinity subscription, which came with a month free code to a friend. Uh, Infinity is basically a game pass, but for VR titles. With the new Fond subscription, we played everything from a cooking simulator to a boxing game, and in the process, I found a genre of games that I really love, and that is VR boxing. Oh fuck, I hit something! Oh fuck, I hit my mind! What? I mean, what better way to get your cardio and beat someone's ass in the process without leaving your home or going to jail? So after day one, I knew that I was going to keep the headset and wasn't going to end up back on Marketplace. Going into day two, I had came across a game called The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Being a huge Walking Dead fan and wanting an actual game that followed the core of The Walking Dead, I decided to buy it. And it was great. Actually, like, really, really good. Really good game. From the engine to the graphics to the little bit of the story I played through, I would put this on my top ten list of all-time games. And I haven't even finished the game yet yeah i know it's weird but it was really good it was really good i swear to god but enough about the titles and more about the headset and reviews i've watched since the purchase everyone seems to bash on the headband for the headset in my opinion the headband is really comfortable and i don't see any issues with it the image quality in the headset again in my opinion is great but i can't go too deep on that because i play all my vr games from my pc and when playing on pc i found the air link option to be absolutely fucking great I can go cordless and move myself to a bigger area of play so I don't accidentally hit my monitor with a right hook. Oh fuck, I hit something. Oh fuck, I hit my monitor. What? But just like with all products, there are downsides, but with the Quest 2, thankfully there's not that many. One of those downsides has to be at random moments the headset will lose its tracking for your guardian and completely throw you out of the game. Now this hasn't happened to me too damn much and it could be my lighting or the fact that i'm playing cordless but it can be very annoying but to wrap this video up would i recommend the quest 2 and the answer to that is uh definitely it, it's such a unique experience and there's some really good games out there for it from first person shooters to speed cooking tacos against your friends or playing a round or two of russian roulette or getting your cardio in a boxing game the possibilities are quite endless but that's all for this video if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment subscribe and thanks for watching